So I wanted to do an update of my mechanical pencil collection, and here are my newest treasures. Nothing major, just a few little pickups. A yellow mustard P209. A shiny copper P207. A candy paint metallic flake blue P207. A murdered out Road Ring 800 snub nose. And a blinding high vis Milan compact. The Pentel 207. I actually got these candy paint twins shortly after I made my first collection video. I found these at a Walmart that had just opened near me. I say this to illustrate how readily available these 207s are. They're not expensive, nor remar- is that a drone shot? No, that's all. Nor remarkable in any way, but the build quality stands the test of time. They're classics. They'll never go out of production. The chiseled sleeve, grenaded grip, metal cone and guide, the iconic detachable clip, and the teeny tiny eraser. At the back, under the cap, where you refill your 0.7 millimeter lead, of course. They're commonly found in black, so these colors were a rare treat to find. The Pentel 2 okay look, this is gonna be a Pentel heavy haul because they happen to be my favorite make. My Graph Gear 500 is one of my most favorite objects I own. But not only that, a black 207 is my daily driver, or so I thought. While making this video it became clear to me I had a case made imposter this entire time and was devastated. Not really. They're an identical dupe, so the spirit of the connection is there. Anyway, the Pentel 209. This chubby leaded canary yellow delight reminds me of a bounding all wheel drive rally car with fat tires. This is my new daily driver and the weight and balance of it make it perfect to write with all day. The 0.9 millimeter lead, though just a tiny bit thicker than they sisters is, it's just the right kind of thick, that double C thick. I find myself being really gentle with anything thinner and I want to be able to just jot something down. I mean, don't we get in between me and my John Downer things? Anyway, I mentioned lead sizes because of the next pencil, but this one also has an eraser under there, like every mechanical pencil with a metal cap ever made in all of time and space. The Rodring 800. This gorgeous snub-nosed monster packs the smallest of all the lead sizes, coming in at 0.5 mil, but it protects it in very clever ways. First off, it's an all-metal body protecting all those dainty bits inside, and the lead. Remember, your pencil also has brittle lead inside. Also, the textured hex barrel combines super retro number two pencil vibes with stopping it from rolling off your stupid desk vibes. And oh, the knurling. I love the knurling, and this has the right knurling where knurling really should knurl. And it also has an eraser under the cap, and oh, more knurling. Oh, it looks like a jewel. Oh. oh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. This thing is heavy in the hand, but so well balanced and the weight so well distributed you barely feel it. So on to why I nicknamed it the snub nose. This tiny 0.5 millimeter lead guide and cone are completely retractable with a neural enabled twist function near the back of the pencil. Check it out. It's such a satisfying and delicate mechanism, but this thing is a tank. It's like a murdered out bulletproof G-Ragon. I bet I could throw this right through my window. What are you gonna do about it? The Milan Compact. When I first saw this little oddball at Paper Chase in London, I was confused as to what it was. Was it a highlighter? No, it has an eraser. Oh, then is it a cool new pen style eraser? No. It's actually a pencil. Oh, weird. Cool. This pudgy bodied plastic cartoon of a pencil is surprisingly comfortable in the hand and I bet it would be good to draw with. Once I took it home, I realized this might be missing a cap. So I looked them up online. They do seem to come with an annoying cap to cover the eraser, but I would have probably removed it anyway. So don't feel so bad I didn't have it. It holds a chubby 0.9 mil lead, which I'm into, so I'm kind of looking forward to testing it out. 
It's a cute little pencil. Its action is pointer finger driven, which is okay, but you can tell they weren't making an amazing machine here. The click action feels a little scratchy, but the tip does feel really stable, so it's rough, but still okay for the work. I like the generous eraser too. It was cool looking, just two pounds, so I had to get it. Roll the thing.